In this video, I am going to tell you about 6 things about Excel which you may haven't heard before. I bet you have never seen an Excel worksheet called History. It's simply because Excel won't allow you to name a sheet as History. Let me add a new worksheet here. Right click on the sheet to rename it. I will type in the name History. And when I press enter, Excel is displaying a warning message. History is a reserved name. Even if you try with lowercase letters, the result will be the same. Can you guess the result of 1 into 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.1 in Excel? If you work out this expression manually, the result should be 0. But in Excel, this expression will return a surprising result. Equal 1 into 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.1 minus 2.7 into 10 raised to minus 17, which is completely wrong. Now another variation of this formula. Equal 1 into 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05. Again, the result is same. But anyway, if you use 1 into 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2, the result will be 0. A year which contains 366 days is called a leap year. In other words, leap year is a year having the date February 29. Even if 1900 is not a leap year, Excel treats this particular year as a leap year. That means, according to Excel, the year 1900 has the date February 29. I will enter the date 28 February 1900 here. When I add 1 to this date, the formula will return the date 29 February 1900, a date which you cannot find in the Gregorian calendar. Actually this is more than a mistake. This bug was deliberately included in Excel for its compatibility with Lotus 123. The largest number which we can enter into an Excel cell is 9.9 into 10 raised to 307. This number is also called big number equal 9.9 into 10 raised to 307. If you try to add a number which is greater than big number into a cell, Excel will return an error equal 9.9 into 10 raised to 308. Excel returned an error which says the number is not valid. But out of curiosity, I tried some combinations and found that a few more numbers bigger than big number is possible in Excel. For example, equal 9.99 into 10 raised to 307.255, which is obviously greater than big number. But when I change 255 to 256, I will get an error. When the zoom level of an Excel worksheet is less than 40%, Excel will display the names of named ranges present in that sheet. Let me bring down the zoom level below 40%. 39, 41, 39. And these are the named ranges present in this sheet. Task, Level, EMP Code Task and Records. Names otherwise called named ranges is a great feature of Excel and once you are familiar with this option, this is going to change the way you use Excel. If you are new to this concept, I recommend you to check my video on this topic. There are more than 1700 crore cells in an Excel sheet. An interesting math is, 
If you start filling an Excel sheet at a speed of 1 cell per second, it will take more than 544 years to complete that process. I will explain how I arrived at this specific number. At first we will see the number of rows in an Excel sheet. This is the last row of this sheet. Row number 10,48,576. We can use a formula to get this number. Equal rows A full colon A. 10,48,576. To find out the number of columns, equal columns 1 full colon 1 16,384 is the number of columns in an excel sheet total number of cells is the product of number of rows and columns equal c3 into c4 And this is the total number of cells in an Excel worksheet. Now the time required to fill an Excel worksheet equal C5 divided by 60 seconds into 60 minutes into 24 hours into 365 days. The formula returned the value 544.77. That means if you start filling an excel worksheet at a speed of 1 cell per second, you will need more than 544 years to complete that process. Hope you will find this video useful. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And those who are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you won't miss anything. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.